Hey everybody, Terry Rombeck with Andover Public Schools here. We're ready for our next installment of what we're calling the Continuous Learning Chronicles. We're highlighting some of the awesome projects that are going on throughout our district despite all the challenges that we're facing right now. And we have one right now that'll probably make you kind of hungry. Uh, we're joined by Lacey Woods, Mrs. Woods from Andover Central High School. She teaches family and consumer sciences there. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> We also have three of our students, uh, the Scriveners. We have Shelby, Scott, and Steve. Welcome to you guys as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mrs. Woods, let's start with you. Uh, you and you have some helpers there who you've been uh, utilizing uh, during this process as well. You've been doing yeah. some videos to, uh, to kind of uh, highlight some of the opportunities that kids could still have to cook at home. And why don't you kind of tell us about what you've been doing and, and how it's been working out for you? Yeah, um, so the idea started over spring break um, when all the news came out that we weren't going to be going back to school and there was just a lot of unanswered questions and I knew if I had a lot of unanswered questions, the students um, had to feel the same way. So um, I started brainstorming kind of how that would look for our class and I knew Zoom calls probably weren't going to be the best option um, for us just with logistics of everything. And so um, I started thinking about my own kids. Um, they've always loved watching cooking shows. And in fact, Ryan, he, when he was really little, he used to like making cooking shows and we would record little ones. And so that's kind of where the idea started. And um, so we just spent an afternoon over spring break and we made a little trailer for what the cooking show would be like and um, released that to the students just to kind of help ease their minds a little bit about what it might look like when we get back um, and started doing online learning. So. Uh, I just didn't want them to lose the opportunities that they were going to have. I had a lot of students really excited about what was upcoming and the things that we were going to be making. And so um, we were trying to find a way that we can continue those learning opportunities, but also maybe create some new ones for them at home that they couldn't have done um, if they were at school, like cooking with their families and things like that. How did you choose uh, what to include, what, what recipes? And I know the, the Pop-Tarts seem like they've been very popular around town, at least on, on Twitter, lots of people have been trying those out. Yeah, I think that's probably been the most popular recipe so far. Um, I've incorporated several recipes that we would have done in class, especially baking and pastry, like Shelby's and baking and pastry right now. And we had a lot of them coming up, like the S'more Pie and Cheesecake, and um, some of those, that, there were some students that were gonna come in on a Saturday and learn how to make macarons. Um, for prom and um, they missed out on that opportunity. So we tried to include several of those um, types of videos that they could still learn those things at home if they wanted. And then um, the boys are in culinary essentials. And so we pulled in some recipes from there, like the pizza and then just some other recipes that we thought would be easy for people to make at home and uh, make with their families. So what's this been like for you? Obviously, this is a, you teach something that's very hands-on and I'm sure that this has been a, a challenge in terms of just connecting with students. What, what have you been doing? How, how's that going for you? What, what have you been trying to do to keep those connections going? Yeah, um, it, it's been a challenge. Um, I, I wanted them to make everything we were going to make in class, but obviously that's um, not possible for everyone. I mean, it's gotten better, but even at the beginning, people couldn't find flour at the store and yeast has been a problem. And um, so I knew it couldn't be something where we said, you have to make this. And so um, we've tried to do a variety of videos. We've done two to three every week. And so the students have the opportunity to watch one of those videos um, and make what we made if they're able to. They can also just make um, what their family was gonna have for dinner that night um, just to help out and still be getting some of that hands-on experience and learning. Um, they can also choose a recipe of their own. Um, and then I ask them to document that. So they just take a few pictures of them in the process of it and it's fun to see family in the pictures and lots of cooking with parents and younger siblings and things like that. And then they upload those to their portfolio, which we keep all semester long. And that's the way that they're able to share it with me. And we also do flip grids once a week just to share what we're doing and um, challenges and successes. And I can give them a little bit of feedback on if they have a question about something. So let's turn it over to your students a little bit. What has this been like for you guys at home? Have you been cooking more because you've been stuck in, inside? Yes, so our mom, since we had to cook anyways for culinary essentials and for baking and pastry for her, our mom assigned us each one day of the week that we would cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so um, we would just record one of those recipes that we use and we would put that in our profile for the week for, for our class. So it, it worked out well because we were already gonna have to cook. So this was kind of nice that we went along with it. So uh, how about the videos? Have you guys been watching those and following along with some of that? And has that been helpful for you? 
Yes. Yes, it has. Yes. So we've done some of her recipes that she's provided, and we've also done some of our own. Like Scotty and I made um, egg, rolls. egg rolls two days ago, and we also made crunch wraps like from Taco Bell. And so we've done some of our own things and some of her recipes too. Yeah. Cool. Has this been, uh, have you guys kind of been challenging yourselves to, to go above and beyond since you have a little bit extra time to, to be around the house and, and do this? Yes. Yeah, we've, we've been putting more time into the recipes because before, like during the school year, if we made food, it was always like easy, like macaroni and cheese or like ramen noodles, something that doesn't take much time. But now since we have like all day to do it, we can put an hour or two hours into it and make it a nicer, better meal rather than something short and easy. So. What's the what's your favorite thing that you've made for each of you? Egg rolls for me. Yeah, the egg rolls were pretty fire. Not gonna lie, I, I like those a lot. I made the empanadas from one of the demos, and they tasted very good. However, it took me four hours to make. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, that would be uh, not a good thing, but right now we all have a little extra time, so maybe that's not such a bad thing, right? <laughs> So what's something that you guys have learned uh, through this whole process, whether it's in the kitchen or just, you know, about yourselves, uh, obviously we're, we're going through some really unusual times right now. Well, what's something you guys have learned uh, either, either culinary wise or otherwise uh, during this last few weeks? Um, I've learned that, you know, it's, it's really not that hard to cook. And sure. once you start learning how to cook different things, it's a lot easier to just kind of come up with your own stuff and make a good meal without having to follow a strict recipe. And if you, if you set aside time for it, it's not that stressful. It can actually be pretty fun. And it's rewarding because you're allowed to eat it, obviously. You know, like cutting the grass, you just cut your grass. But when you make food, you can actually eat it afterwards and enjoy it. So it can be fun. Very cool. Uh, how about you, Mrs. Woods? What, obviously, this is teaching in a different way, uh, something you in a million years probably didn't expect at the beginning of the school year, like all the rest of us. Uh, what has this been like for, for you? Um, it's been a lot of fun cooking with, um, with the, my kids. Um, we, we do cook a lot. Um, they love being in the kitchen with me, but kind of like those three were saying it's during the school year, we're rushing to soccer practice and to different school events and things like that. And so um, it's a little bit more challenging to be able to cook with them. Um, Cause a lot of times we're like, Hey, we gotta hurry and get this done. Um, so that's been fun. Um, we've been able to do a few things um, with the videos. Um, if the students are using them and able to do that at home, that um, because of our time constraints at school would be a little bit more challenging. Some of those recipes that, we, that we've demoed are, are a struggle to get done in our time frame at school. So it actually is uh, letting them do something that maybe we wouldn't even been able to do at school. So that's been a positive to, to doing it this way. So I got to ask the same question of your kids. What's the best thing you guys have eaten since you've been home? Uh, mine's the empanadas. And um, mine's probably the macarons. Nice. Sounds like two, two solid options there. <laughs> so what, what other ideas do you have? Or, or is that too early to, to give the sneak peek of what, what's coming down the road for other videos? Um, yeah, we have a, um, a, demo, a tentative demo schedule um, posted in, in classroom for all the students that way if they do want to make something the same week that I am that they're able to go to the grocery store if they're trying to kind of space that out a little bit so um, we just recorded one this morning on what do we do this morning monkey bites monkey bites it's a banana bread with a uh, peanut butter and chocolate chips in it that's really good so we did that one today and then we've got apple pie still this week um, we've got a pork tenderloin and some soy glazed green beans coming up a cheesecake is still coming up that's one the students are really excited about so we still got a lot of good ones coming up nice i made the mistake of not eating lunch before i did this interview so that was a <laughs> fail on my part so <laughs> so uh well congratulations everybody for keeping this going uh thanks for being part of this and uh proud of everything that's going on in our district and uh we can't wait till we can sample some of that food in person because i'm sure it's better than it is uh over the internet yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.